principles of biotechnology in this module you will learn about biotechnology and its principles do you remember the process of fermentation wherein microorganisms such as yeast and bacteria are used in the production of bread alcohol etc this can be considered as the oldest use of biotechnology let us first understand what exactly biotechnology is it deals with the techniques related to the use of organisms or enzymes from organisms to make useful products for humans it is defined by the european federation of biotechnology efb as the integration of natural science and organisms cells parts thereof and molecular analogs for products and services thus in vitro fertilization leading to a test tube baby the synthesis of gene and its use development of a dna vaccine or correction of a defective gene all can be considered as examples of biotechnology it works on certain principles let us see what these principles are biotechnology mainly works on two core principles these are genetic engineering or recombinant dna technology and maintenance of sterile environment in the biochemical engineering process let's go through them one by one genetic engineering as the name suggests is working with genetic material dna and rna of an organism to bring about some changes in it to understand it better let us see the conceptual development of the principles of genetic engineering through an example roshan is a scientist who works on plant hybridization every time he crosses the two plants along with the desirable genes that he chooses to see in his hybrid plant some undesirable genes are also transferred from the parent plants to the hybrid plant his friend suggested him to use genetic engineering to overcome this problem in the process of genetic engineering desired genes are isolated these genes are then used to create recombinant dna multiple copies of the genes are made gene cloning and then transferred in the host organism gene transfer thus genetic engineering helps to overcome the limitation of traditional hybridization techniques you must be wondering what happens to the recombinant dna introduced in the host organism it cannot multiply itself until it becomes a part of the genome of the host cell hence for the multiplication of any alien piece of dna in an organism it should be a part of the chromosomes which has a specific sequence known as the origin of replication The origin of replication is a specific DNA sequence which is responsible for initiating replication. So the alien DNA is linked with the origin of replication so that it gets integrated into the genome of the recipient, multiply and be inherited along with the host DNA. This can also be called as cloning or making multiple identical copies of any template DNA. To sum up There are three basic steps in genetically modifying an organism. These are identifying the DNA with desirable genes, introducing the identified DNA into the host, maintenance of introduced DNA in the host, and the transfer of the DNA into its progeny. Let us now come to the second principle, that is maintenance of sterile environment. in the biochemical engineering process during the process of biotechnology it is important to maintain sterile conditions it is to allow the growth of only the desired microbe or eukaryotic cell in large quantities for the manufacture of biotechnological products such as antibiotics vaccines and enzymes Now that you have understood the two principles of biotechnology let us understand how the first recombinant DNA molecule was created in the year 1972 two scientists of USA Stanley Cohen and Herbert Baer created the first recombinant DNA the steps are listed below they isolated an antibiotic resistance gene from a plasmid of the bacterium Salmonella typhimurium 
a plasmid is an autonomously replicating circular extra chromosomal DNA. The gene was responsible for conferring antibiotic resistance. The gene was isolated by cutting the desired piece of DNA from the plasmid. For cutting DNA at a specific location, restriction enzymes, also known as molecular scissors, were used. The piece of DNA cut was then linked with the plasmid DNA. The plasmid DNA act as vectors. A vector behaves as a vehicle to transfer the piece of DNA attached to it into another cell where it can be replicated and or, or expressed. The linking of fragment DNA with plasmid DNA was done with the help of another enzyme called DNA ligase. DNA ligase acts as a gum to join the cut ends of the DNA molecules. This results in a new combination of circular autonomously replicating DNA. It is created in vitro and is known as recombinant DNA. This DNA is then transferred into Escherichia coli, a bacterium closely related to Salmonella. In its new cell, the DNA could make multiple copies by using the new host's DNA polymerase enzyme. It resulted in multiple copies of antibiotic resistance gene in E. coli. This process of multiplication of gene or a piece of DNA was called cloning. Let's recap. Biotechnology is the integration of natural science and organisms, cells, parts thereof and molecular analogues for products and services. Biotechnology mainly works on two core principles, genetic engineering and biochemical engineering process. Genetic engineering works on three basic steps. These include identifying the DNA with desirable genes, introducing the identified DNA into the host, maintenance of introduced DNA in the host and transferring of the DNA to its progeny. Biochemical engineering process is to maintain sterile, microbial contamination-free conditions. Stanley Cohen and Herbert Baer created the first recombinant DNA in the year 1972.